guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new so it's been a while since I've done a polish pickup wish list, wish list video and I really feel like I want to share my wish list um, wishes with you guys <laughs> um, this month I have not just had the time in my schedule but I actually did go in make a wish list this time um, for October polish pickup, right? Yes, October. So today is Tuesday. Polish pickup will go live on Friday, October. What's today? Today's the first. So October 4th, right? First, second, third, fourth. October 5th. You guys should know um, better than I do. But yes, hold up. October 4th. Polish pickup goes live on the first Friday of every month and runs to the following Monday of that weekend. And if you guys are unfamiliar with what Polish Pickup is, I'll list the details below in the description box, but basically it is a collab that runs um, the first weekend of every month of indie polish makers, um, where they design custom polishes based on a theme that is picked by us <laughs> um, in the polish group. Um, polish pickup group every month so they do a poll we all vote on a theme and then um, the makers make polishes based on that theme so um, I just wanted to kind of share you with you guys what I have on my wish list I'm gonna try and see if I can pull, pull it up like my phone has been acting bonkers um, I tried to keep it relatively short and I really don't need any polish y'all this Last month in particular, I bought so much polish, y'all. The fall vibes are giving, and I am giving in to my lack of self-control when it comes to buying polishes. <laughs> Shh, don't tell my wife. She's in the other room. Hopefully, she can't hear me. <laughs> but you guys, I have so many packages coming. Oh my God, so many packages, and I don't need to be purchasing. So I'm going to do really, really a lot of shopping my stash with these and i'm really going to try to like narrow down but currently i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen <sighs> polishes on my wish list <sighs> the struggle you guys the struggle is real the struggle is real um but let's talk about what's up no before we get started let's talk about what i um what I swatched personally this month. I really have cut down a lot on my swatching too because honestly, I just don't have as much time in my schedule as I would like and I don't like disappointing people. <laughs> I'm a people pleaser and so I'm really trying to be honest with me, honest with myself and honest with people that I swatch for as far as like what my availability is and so I've cut down a lot. So that doesn't mean I'm not available. I am, but I have cut down a lot. Um, so for this polish pickup, I swatched three. One of them is Phenomenon. Am I, I'm wondering if I'm Phenom, Nom Nom. I think that's how you say it. From All Mixed Up Lacquers. So I'm going to show you guys the polish. I'll throw in my swatches of this polish. It's a beautiful, beautiful multi-chrome. And it is described as a darkened ultra chameleon base shifting from purple, red, gold. You guys, it is beautiful. It has an amazing formula. There's going to be 500 available um, of this polish and it says inspired by cat stuffing its face. <laughs> Super cute. Um, and it is going to be priced at $13.50. So if you guys are interested in that one and want to pick that one up, um, there's the information on that one. The other one that I swatched um, um, so I also swatched Restored by Polish. This is Solar Flare and it is gorgeous flanky goodness. Again, I'll throw in my swatches, but it's really beautiful, really amazing formula on that one. And so that one will be priced at $13.50 and there'll be a hundred. This is a really low cap on this one. So if you guys want this one, you better get it, you know, like as soon as the shop opens. Um, it says inspired by solar flares, high intensity eruptions on the sun's surface, often accompanied by coronal mass ejections. That's a lot of words that I don't really know. 
um, but it is described as a blood orange jelly base with fiery flakes throughout. And it says it also has a gold aurora shimmer. It is opaque in two coats, but gives get but three gives this polish more intensity. I can agree with that. I think I swatched it in three um, three coats, and the third coat does give it a little bit more depth. So definitely swing in and get that one if you are interested in that one. And of course, my swatches will be thrown in here as well. And then I have one more um, from Moonshine Manny. Let me see if I can find it in here. Here it is. Um, so this one is called the Suck Zone. And it is, oh my gosh, flaky goodness, you guys. This one is so gorgeous. Um, and I'm a sucker for flakies, as you guys know, if you've been watching me for a while. Definitely a sucker for flakies. And these are just beautiful. It's just a really nice flaky formula. Um, this will be priced at $13. It's inspired by the original Twister film starring Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt. Hmm. Uh, that's just, I mean, have you guys seen the new Twister? It doesn't hold a candle to the first one, so just FYI, in my opinion. It's sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anticlimactic, in my opinion, but you may have a different opinion. Don't let me stop you from seeing it, because you totally should. Um, the Sug Zone is a rich emerald green filled with a rainbow of iridescent flakes and black flakies. There will be 200 of these available. And you guys, like I said, it's just a really nice flaky formula. Um, it does give that nice pond effect on the nails. And it's really gorgeous. Here's just a close-up. And of course, my swatches will be thrown up here as well. But that is um, Moonshine Manny, the suck, the suck Zone. Okay, um, so let's get to my wish list, if I can find it. First on my wish list, Cadillac, y'all. I try not to put all the purple polishes on there because I am a purple polish lover, but sometimes I can't help it. Sometimes they just grab me. <laughs> This is Cadillac Girl Everlasting Storm, priced at $14. It's described as a dusty blue base with strong magenta to orange to yellow shimmer. Doesn't appear to be a cap on this one, but look how gorgeous this is. Like, that shift, y'all. It's so pretty. I love the shift on this one. And it's just my perfect shade of purple. Um, it's the purple that I'm super drawn to. It looks like it's very, um, what's the word? Not blingy, but like eye-catching on the nails. Like it has that just like, um, what's the word? Like, I'm not trying to say like shock value, but like just that like gleam off the nails. But also it's very shifty. This is it under different lighting. And so this almost looks like a different polish, right? Um, and I love that. I love that you can change the lighting with polishes and get a different polish. So again, that's Caddy Lacquer Everlasting Storm. If you guys are interested in that, you might want to pick it up. This is Cuticula Blue Lava, priced at $13. Cuticula has this formula that they do that I feel like I just need, like I, I have to have it every time I see this formula that they do. And, um, I'm pretty sure they did the same formula for polish pickup. Um, September. I'm pretty sure I picked that one up. Was it last year? Last month? Yeah, I think it was last month. It's just so good, y'all. I feel like I just need all of them, and I've purchased as many of them as I can get my hands on. Um, but this will be priced at $13, and it is a charcoal jelly base full of blue aqua shifting glass flakes, orange gold shifting glass flakes, and black flakes. So it's a combination of the um, glass flakes and the black flakes for me like that's what really does it for me and they just kill this formula like every time they do this formula it is phenomenal and I love it um, and this is going to be completely unique to my collection so while I'm talking about trying to find polishes like these on my wish list to uh, compare and you know talk myself out of buying these polishes 
it doesn't usually happen when it comes to this particular formula that cuticula does because I just I already know I don't have anything like this in my collection so I am going to put that at the top of the list because I usually can't resist I, I'm not I might as well not even try let's just say that um, Dom Polish is bringing intense, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to say this, bioluminescence, I think, is what I'm assuming that is, intense bioluminescence. Price at 1350 um, inspired by bioluminescence in Maldives. I don't know exactly what that means, but if you do, kudos, ooh, kicking my my light there um black jelly base with blue purple shifting shimmers and aqua reflective glitters you know i am obsessed with dawn polish lately i have find, been purchasing so many polishes from this brand um i'm never disappointed with what i get like they just have really amazing formulas and this particular color of blue is um, one that i'm super drawn to and I feel like I need it um, in my life every time I see it. But under different lighting, this one looks a little bit different. Um, like a different kind of blue that I don't have. But also that I need. <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't imagine I'll be able to pass this one up. But we shall see, right? Um, really beautiful. If you guys have not tried this brand before, highly recommend Highly recommend. Um, 1350 and there's a cap of 400 If you guys aren't familiar with what a cap means, that means that the maker is going to pour however many bottles, so 400 bottles of this polish, and that's what will be available. And when that sells out, you can't get it again. Um, and these are limited edition polishes, polishes for polish pickup, so you won't see them on the site um, unless you see them in a stash or something. You won't typically be able to buy them anywhere else but polish pickup. So get them while you can. Ethereal Lacquer, Otherworldly. Ethereal Lacquer is one brand that I fell in love with back in 2018 when my obsession with nail polish began and my collection of nail polish began to grow. Um, and it's continued, although I don't purchase as much from them anymore because there are other brands that I'm drawn to as well, but they still highly recommend Ethereal Lacquer Polishes, and this one is so glowy and just, um, it's giving ethereal, <laughs> it's giving etherealism. Um, so price at $12, it is expired inspired by Salar de, I cannot say that, Salar de Uni, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, but it's a sheer and soft lilac with glowing pink to copper pearlescent shimmer, and you guys, it is giving, like I said, just etherealness off the nails, right? Like, it's gorgeous, it's also that pink shimmer for me super super pretty i really really like this one a lot and again i'm drawn to all shades of purple so um very drawn to this one i probably will go ahead and look through my ethereal polishes and see if i can find something that even comes close if i can find something i'll pop a picture in here um, if not, you guys will know that I didn't find anything and I'll do that with all these. I'll try to find something that, you know, shop my stash, shop my collection <laughs> and see if I can find something close to it. And if I can, I'll pop the picture in. If I don't pop a picture in, you guys will know I didn't find anything and it's probably going in my cart. Garden Path Lacquers told the Northern Lights to keep shining priced at $13.50. Um, again, this is purple. I am who I am. <laughs> Inspired by the Northern, Northern Lights, I was able to see from my home in Ohio in May of 2024. Do you guys remember when there was a lot of talk about that? Um, and people were posting their pictures of the Northern Lights all over Facebook. They're so pretty. 
I was like, man, I wish I could see that in person. Um, it says, told the Northern Lights to keep shining is a grape purple base filled with magenta holographic micro glitters, blue green aurora shimmer, and holographic micro flakes. There's going to be a thousand bottles of this one available, so it's a super high cap, but it's probably a good thing that it is because it is stunning. And um, Garden Path Lifers is another brand that I um, have really enjoyed the formula for, and I really don't think I have this particular shade of purple. Um, I'm probably lying, <laughs> but look how pretty it is. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, there'll be a thousand bottles, um, price of $13.50. Highly recommend this brand. I highly recommend all the brands in Polish Pickup because you don't typically make it to Polish Pickup without having um, a reputation for making really amazing formulas and really gorgeous polish. This is the first month that Glam Polish is participating in Polish Pickup. I'm super excited. And I'm probably going to buy this just on principle alone. Glam Polish is another favorite brand of mine that became a favorite of mine when I first began loving and collecting nail polish. And so it's exciting that they're in polish pickup this month. Um, so they are bringing Glowing Whispers, priced at $13.50. It is inspired by Aurora Borealis above a serene snowy landscape. And this totally looks like that. And it is described as icy blue with shifting iridescent flakes, flakies, green, tail aurora shimmer, and white in a white glitter mix. There'll be 300, 300 bottles of this available, y'all. I really feel like this is gonna sell out because if you are a huge glam polish fan like me, then you guys know their formulas are really amazing. The only thing um, that I will say I don't particularly particularly love about Glam Polish they have really skinny brushes um, but I have small nail beds so that hasn't really been a problem for me but I just thought I'd mention it in case you guys didn't know or you weren't aware but it doesn't affect the formula at all like they just have really good formulas so it doesn't matter what brushes <laughs> or brush what, what kind of brush you have um, but I just mentioned it in case you prefer a thicker brush um, they do have a little tiny skinny ones so this one um again there'll be 300 bottles available of this one so it's going it's gonna sell out I really think it will um so I've been on for 18 minutes y'all I'm really trying to keep this short so let's keep moving um Great Lakes Lacquer Great Balls of Ice this is really this is a really unique shade to my collection and that's why I put it in my wish list but I did recently as of this week Maybe this past weekend purchased some from great lakes lacquer so i may skip because i just purchased from them but also i don't know if i can skip because it's such a unique color um so great balls of ice is inspired um by ice ball information ice ball for more for mm, ice ball formation that happens on the shores of lake michigan i finally got it um a sandy brown featured Featuring a shimmer that shifts through aqua blue and purple pink, y'all. I don't have this shade. I promise you I don't. And it's very, like, gorgeous. Like, look how pretty that is on the nails. Um, I don't have a lot of browns because I'm typically not drawn to browns. Um, but this, like, shimmer in here, the blue, the blue, like, what? <laughs> look how pretty that is. It's so gorgeous. I feel like I need it. I might need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I just want it. It's it's not blue shimmer for me for real. Like I just know I don't have anything like that. So um, there's no cap on this. Thank God. Sometimes I will go in. I'll put stuff on my wish list, and then I'll wait till like maybe the last day of polish pickup, and then decide at that point if I just absolutely have to have it because at that point if it's been on my mind the entire weekend I'm gonna get it right and if it hasn't then I'm like okay I can pass on that but if there's no cap on there then that means that I can wait I can wait it out it's not gonna sell out so there's no cap on this one so maybe I'll wait it out also maybe not great balls of ice $13.50 from great big slacker um moving on to gin and berries this one is just it screams 
ebony, right? Like it's, I'm, I have a secret love affair with this particular combination and this particular formula. Um, it's called Appy Biru. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Price at $13.50. It is inspired by blue lava and it is an ultramarine blue base with red gold, shifty shimmer and holographic flakes. There'll be 500 bottles of this one available. And this is just my jam. Like in saying that, since I know it's my jam, I know I have something similar. I'm like, maybe I can pass this up. I just have to look. I'm gonna have to look through my collection and find. I know I have something similar. I know I have something close. I just have to find it. So I'm gonna look for that. But also it's stunning, you guys. Like, look at this picture and like this little shifty goodness down here at the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> it's giving life in a bottle. <laughs> I'm just super drawn to these blurple, purple blue polishes with the red shimmer. Mm. Give it to me. Take my money. Um, so there'll be 500 available, gin and berry, and again, probably saying this wrong, but Api Biru. I don't know. Um, Kathleen and Co. I swatch for Kathleen and Co. Um, but I don't get all of her polishes. So when I don't get one of her polishes, I have to get it. <laughs> this is Molten Sky, priced at thirteen fifty, and oh my gosh, y'all, it is totally my jam. Again with the like, hmm, deep violet base this is what this has okay molten sky starts with a deep violet base with a molten red copper magnetic shift so the fact that this is a magnetic you've already got me um and it's inspired by volcanic lava and it totally looks like that on the nails this will be um capped at 750 so it's a decent cap you might be able to like um snag this one relatively easy but look at the magnetic pull on this one y'all I need it in my life. I am not above supporting a brand that I swatch for. That's already been added to cart, so to speak. Um, if you've not tried Kathleen & Co, again, highly recommend it. I'm not just saying that because I swatch for her. I'm saying that because she makes really amazing formulas and beautiful polish. Um, you won't be disappointed. So Kathleen & Co, Molten Sky, priced at $13.50. Oh, I'm really trying to, I'm trying to like speed up, you guys. I'm trying to speed up. Um, KB Shimmer, again, I might pass on this one because I did also recently place a KB Shimmer order. Um, this is a magnetic. This is called Magmatic Personality, priced at $13. I'm seeing a lot of like volcano inspired polishes for this polish pickup and I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad about it. I think volcanic or like lava rock is really, really pretty. Um, so this one is described as a magnetic nail polish featuring red to black magnetic pigments that shift from deep red to inver and maroon to silvery charcoal and black. There's a lot going on in here, y'all. Depending on the angle, you might also catch hints of orange, gold, or pink leaning red, black to red flakes and iridescent flakes in purple, pink, yellow, and orange accent the black base. Two coats offer full coverage, or you can layer it over black for a more dramatic effect. There's a lot going on in this polish. And, I mean, honestly, it's gorgeous. Like, look how pretty that is. And in this picture, you can kind of see that shiftiness going on there at the bottom of the bottle. And, ugh, like, it's just super shifty. There's, like, under different lighting. KB Shimmer, Shimmer is also another one of those brands that I typically can just not pass up. And I've also been really feeling magnetics lately. Um, we'll see if I can pass this one up. I need to just open my, I, I did actually get my, my um, package from KB Shimmer today. So maybe if I open it, I can talk myself into not getting KB Shimmer for a polish pickup. We'll see. Um, but that's Mag, Magmatic, magmatic personality for $13 and there's no cap on this one. Um, next we have Lumen Nails. This is another brand that I've really been loving a lot of the polishes that she's been putting out lately. 
and um, this one will be unique to my collection, I must admit. Light It Up, priced at $13, inspired by the atmospheric optimal phenomena of light pillars. Um, Light It Up is a deep violet undertone, navy with a strong gold to red to red mm, with a strong gold to red to shift that seems to light up like a vertical light pillar seen in the night sky there's no cap and this is just freaking gorgeous look at this you guys like what what <sighs> so pretty um if you have not purchased from this brand before totally should i have purchased some i have not had a chance to try it but these um pictures like this formula just looks amazing yeah. i don't have anything like this in my collection so um pretty sure i will not be passing this one up just saying i haven't done a polish pick up wish list video in a long time but used to be way back in the day when i did these you guys gave me excellent ad advice about what i should get what i shouldn't get so definitely comment below um what are you guys getting what do you have on your wish list and what do you think i should um, add to my cart i will be very happy to know what your thoughts are lynn b designs is bringing it's a phenomenon um, priced at $13. I used to swatch for Limby Designs. I haven't swatched so much for her lately, um, but she has amazing formulas, really beautiful polish. I love her shimmery polishes. Um, she just does that formula really, really well. Um, but this is a red, and for some reason I'm drawn to it. Red polish scares, scares me to death, honestly, because, you know, I am a perfectionist and usually clean up with red polish, black polish is not the easiest. Um, so I work really hard and it takes me a really long time to finish a manicure with red polish. But this one looks like fire on the nails. It's inspired by leaves changing color in the fall. A berry leaning purple base filled with red to orange to gold shifting shimmer. Doesn't look like there's a cap on this one. Um, but this is just my type of red, right? Like... This is the type of red that I know will look gorgeous on my nails with my skin tone and it's very like shimmery like it has this like um oh my gosh what can I, I can't even describe it like from within like bold red color um oh my gosh it's just so pretty and then you know there's some shifty there's like the red fire you know look there this is really gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. Um, I'm definitely going to try and see if I have something similar, but um, really love that one. So that's Limby Designs. It's a phenomenon. <laughs> F A L L dash nominon. Price at $13 and no cap. And so moving on to the next one Polish. Polish. Um, this is another purple from a brand that I really love. Um, I've been loving Polish Polish for a long, a long, long, long time. This one's called Moonbow. It's priced at $14. Um, and is inspired by Moonbows. What are Moonbows? I don't know. It is a sheer violet base packed with copper, pink, and green shifting micro flakes. And that sounds really, really beautiful and it looks really, really beautiful on the nails. Um, it's pretty unique, I think, right? Like, look at this picture. Um, those flakies. Those flakies are just, like, popping. Um, it does look like the base um, is pretty sheer, and what you're basically getting is a lot of flakies on the nail, but if you really like that look, this, this will be right up your alley. Um, here's a close-up of that one. Look how pretty that is. Um, I feel like the sheerness of it is kind of camouflaged by the flakies, um, which makes for a really beautiful effect on the nails, I think. Like, look how pretty. 
that's really gorgeous. Um, I don't know if I'll get that one because I feel like, although it's really beautiful, it might be one that I um, wouldn't give love to, you know, because I'll probably be drawn to other polishes before I'm drawn to this one, and then it'll just be sitting in my drawer, but we'll see. We'll see, because it's, it really, it's really gorgeous. I really do like it. No cap on that one, priced at $14. Um, we're almost to the end, you guys. We've got two more polishes and a stamping plate. Polish for days. I'm probably not going to pass this one up. I love polish for days as a brand. Um, also, it's probably one of the polishes that has a drawer. It really already does. has a drawer all to itself. Like a drawer and a half. Like that drawer's full and then part of another drawer. So I buy a lot from this brand. But also, in saying that, that means I probably have something like this. <laughs> But it's a multi-chrome, you guys. It's like that blurple that I love. Um, out of this world, priced at $13.50. It is described as a deep till base with an extremely shifty purple, pink, orange, yellow, green, shifting multi-chrome micro flake shimmer. That is a mouthful. Try saying that three times fast. Inspired by the Northern Lights. Um, there's no cap, which again, usually Polish for Days doesn't have a cap because this, this, this is a very popular... Yeah, I'm gonna try Polish for Days. You totally should. Very popular brand that um, gets a lot of hype, honestly. Well deserved hype because, oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> Again, look at the shift on this one. Like this picture right here, that's a good representation of the shift. You literally have like four different, four different polishes on your nails right there, honestly. Maybe five different polishes. Like it is that shifty. And this purple, <sighs> you guys, I don't, I, I'm definitely not going to be passing this up. I'm just saying, I'm just saying I'm not going to be passing it up. So just FYI, I'm glad it's not capped because you guys will need to pick this one up. I don't even have to try this one to know you guys would need to pick it up. Polish for days out of this world. $13.50 with no cap. Um, Wildflower Lacquer is another one of my favorite brands. Um, you know, I honestly don't think, I probably have something similar, but definitely not something just like this. Um, Glass Rose, priced at $13.75. Inspired by a photo of a frozen rose that I took from Oklahoma, Oklahoma ice storm in 2020. Wow, 2020, that's a long time ago. Um, a berry base with blue to purple shifting shimmer and holographic flakes, you guys. This is my jam. <laughs> but also to boot, um, $2 of this will be donated to support relief efforts for those impacted by Hurricane Helene. I think that's really amazing um, that she's doing this charity. I'll probably purchase just for that reason. Not only because it's a beautiful polish, but also that's a that's a good um, reason to purchase, right? Um, there's no cap on this one, so if you can imagine two dollars of every bottle will be donated, like imagine how much you'll be able to donate. Let's say she, I don't, I'm not a math person, I don't do math, but let's say she sells a thousand bottles, like that's a pretty good donation, um, and I really love that about her because she really does a lot of. Um, charity um, and donations and I think this is a really good cause I haven't really been paying attention until recently like literally today I looked at something that was talking about all of the um, damage and um, you know loss of power and things like that that the hurricane caused and so I think that this is a really good opportunity for me to contribute so Having said that, I probably will pick this one up. So that's Wildflower Lacquer Glass Rose, priced at $13.75. You guys should totally pick it up um, and support the charity. Um, no cap on that one. Lastly is a non-polish related um, item, but I am a cat person. I love cats. I mean, I love all animals, but out of cats and dogs, I prefer cats. Um, so I really want this stamping plate. <laughs> it's 
a stamping plate by Hit the Bottle Polishes. It's called The Secret Life of Cats. Um, it's priced at $14.99. And guys, look how cute this is. Can I blow this up? I can't. Look how cute these cats are. I am obsessed, you guys. I am obsessed. Like, oh my gosh. So cute. I am totally getting this. I am. I just, look how, it's cute, right? It's cute. Um, let me see. There's a picture of some nail art using the cat. Is this my cat? I hope that's, there's some nail art on here, but it's not for that sanding plate. Um, but yeah, so it is um, described as an array of images based around cats doing human activities. That's so cute. Um, there's cats in space, cats doing yoga, cats doing uh, going on holiday, cats being pirates, cats dancing, cats doing math, cats cooking, cats drinking wine or being parmaids. So cute. There's 280 of these available. Um, if you guys are big into stamping nail art that's cute right super cute you might want to pick that one up okay you guys we're at the end um i mean i'll try to cut it down we're at 37 minutes right now uh my goal was to stay at 30 minutes but i think if i hadn't included the polishes that i've swatched it would have stayed at 30 minutes so i almost made it um, thank you guys for joining my video. I'm so excited to be back doing wishlist videos for Polish Pickup. I will probably also do a wishlist video for Hello Handmade Creations. I'm really, really, really trying hard to get back into filming um, because I miss it. And I have so much to share with you guys. Um, coming up, I will be sharing my Polish and Beauty Expo haul um, that will be probably in at least four, maybe five parts because <laughs> I bought a lot of polish. Um, so those videos will be coming up soon. Hope you guys will watch and enjoy um, those videos. I've been wanting to post them for a long, um, pretty long time because uh, Polish and Video Expo was in July. It is now September. Um, and I do have them all swatched out on a swatch wheel. Um, so yeah. I'll be getting into that soon. Um, let me know in the description box what you guys are eyeing for Paul's Pickup What's on your wish list. Let me know what I should purchase. Thank you guys for joining me again. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.